What's up, Fabu fam? It's me, your main boo, finally back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for tuning in today. And if you're a returning subscriber, girl. We have got some things to discuss, but in the meantime, hello, we're about to be entering summer. This is the most exciting time of the year. Well, for me at least, because we're pulling out all those summer makeup looks, honey. This one is very exciting because it's my first foundationless tutorial on my channel. So without further ado, let's begin. So first, I'm starting off with this vegan milk moisturizer. This is my first time using this. I'm so excited. Ooh, she thick. So I'm not gonna lie, I just painted my nails because I've been looking like an absolute travesty these past two weeks. So they're not fully dry yet, you know? I just dream of sitting in a nail salon. Tammy, please call me back, I miss you. So this cream is super thick. I feel like I would use this more so at nighttime, but I do like that it has no scent to it. And then we're gonna shake up this Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I just actually ordered this. It smells like a dream. Like, is this worth the money? Probably not, I'm just gonna be honest. But like, if you like to smell watermelons, just dripping all over your face, then you know, it may be worth it. Regardless, when I'm just using tinted moisturizer, I like to set my face in between each step. Now we're gonna prime our face with this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've heard so many good things about this and I was so excited when I received this in the mail. I've actually used it before. I'm kind of obsessed with it. It has like a very tacky feeling on my face and I found that my foundation did stay a lot longer. I will say that it does not smell good. I feel like I'm straight up beating a dead horse on how many times I've showed you guys how I soap my brows. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this one. So my brows are on and now the star of today's show is gonna be this tinted moisturizer by ColourPop. This one is like a perfect match for my skin tone right now. It's in the shade Light 6W. So what I like to do is just take two pumps in my hand. Two pumps is more than enough. Like this product goes a long way, okay? Then I like to rub it in my hands like so, just warm it up a little. Obviously make sure your hands are clean. And I just press the product into my skin. And I just find that this gives you the most gorgeous skin-like finish. And a little tip with tinted moisturizer that I've noticed like throughout the years, I always like to go a little bit lighter for three reasons. One, it's very thin, so you can't really even see it. Number two, I feel like it kind of lightens up all the dark areas of my face. And number three, I feel like when it's tanner, it just oxidizes really orange on my face, even if I go for a neutral shade. So obviously it depends on the brand, but I find that like with most brands that happens. So I don't know if you guys have noticed or have seen him yet, but you know, he came for a little surprise on my forehead this morning. We named him Archibald. We love him. But honestly, I'm so happy that he's here so I can show you guys a little bit about spot concealing and how it changed my life. So I preached this a couple of videos ago and just from personal experience from my past, I'm a firm believer that even if you have problem skin, if you have acne on your face, you do not need to use a thick full coverage foundation to get good results. I wish that when I had acne all over my cheeks, rather than using a full coverage foundation that was just clogging my pores even more, that I just invested in better skincare, made myself a nicer base, maybe went in with a tinted moisturizer and then really focused up on those areas and spot concealing the rest of my face. Whether you have problem skin or not, this is gonna look a lot more natural on your face, especially in person. Like when you guys see YouTubers and they have strong lights on them, it's also easy to just blur it out even if it does look cakey. So that is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna grab this e.l.f. hydrating concealer. This is a great dupe for shape tape if you're looking for a cheaper alternative. And another thing I like to do is go for a thicker concealer and just use less of it rather than going for a sheer concealer and putting it all over my face. So this one has pretty high coverage and as you can see, I'm just gonna put a dot of it where I feel like I need it. I'm gonna put it directly on Archie there and on my nose. And then I'm gonna grab my sponge and instead of blending it all over my face, I'm just gonna tap in the same motion until I feel like it's blended out enough. And then I'm just kind of dragging that product onto the areas where I feel like I need it, but I didn't want to put direct application. All right, so you may be thinking, girl, why do you still have a dot on your forehead? And I'm gonna show you why right now. So when it comes to a pimple, what you're gonna wanna do is apply it like I did, tap it softly with your beauty blender, and making sure the coverage is still on the reddest part of the pimple, and you're gonna just kind of diffuse the outsides with a brush. This is gonna give a lot more of a natural look, it's gonna look less cakey, and just really put the coverage where we actually need it. And now we're gonna set those areas into place. I'm gonna take this Glossier Wouter. This one does a really good job at just blurring your under eyes. And I'm using a smaller brush to apply this. I'm not gonna put this all over my face, just the areas that I concealed or that I feel like I get oily throughout the day. And powder is on. I'm gonna just set my face one more time with MAC Fix Plus. 
Now we're gonna add some life back to our face. I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty contour stick. This is in the shade Espresso. A little bit on my cheekbone. I find that this product really goes a long way. I don't wanna overdo it. And now I'm just working that product into the skin. So just to give you guys a little fill in on why I didn't post last week, I have been so stressed out. I'm currently about to finish my lease here. So I've been looking for a new apartment and if you've apartment hunted, you know it's like the most stressful, draining thing ever. Like I've been going on five tours a day and I still haven't found like the perfect one. You know, I love my apartment right now. I feel safe. I don't really have any problem with it other than the fact my living room is faced directly towards the courtyard. So I literally get no sunlight and it's not only been affecting me like as far as like my job and stuff obviously when you're a youtuber you want light especially like being a beauty youtuber but beyond that it's like i can't even tell when it's daytime and nighttime once it hits 12 pm it's like i don't even know so it gets depressing like especially being in quarantine and just being here you know by myself i put so much effort into like making my living room look cute and like my bedroom i wanted to do the whole apartment tour i was so excited and then i realized like when i was starting to film it everything was just so dark and then when i turned the lights on it's like one, it's like those yellow tone lights that just don't look good it doesn't make me look good it doesn't make my room look good you know it was just a mess so Needless to say, I'm excited to move on to this next chapter. So that is obviously one of the main things that I'm looking for in my new apartment, and I will not stop until I find it. By the way, I'm just gonna set that with this powder by Hourglass, and I'm also gonna put this in my eye as well. So overall, that is great news for you guys because that means I'm gonna be posting even more content. I'm always gonna be in the beauty community realm, but I'm excited to expand on that. You know, I wanna get into fashion. I know a lot of you guys ask me to do like fashion videos and stuff like that. So I wanna get into that, I wanna get into health and fitness and all that stuff and yeah i'm just really excited about it i'm gonna get a two bedroom so i'm gonna make my studio look so cute okay i have everything lined up ready to buy i just need to know where to ship it so that's something that's been kind of giving me a nice distraction during this quarantine because you know i'm starting to get a little crazy i don't know about you guys how are you guys doing let me know down in the comments what are you guys doing to keep yourself busy because girl i've been going on walks like i take my dogs to the park like three times a day it's just really crazy how this happens so fast and this is like our our new reality i'm just keeping all of you guys in my prayers if you guys need anyone to talk to just definitely dm me i've been dming back and forth with a couple of you guys so yeah if you need anyone to talk to you know i'm your girl i'm gonna throw that onto my chest as well i'm so white right now you guys i just cannot be bothered to put self tanner on then moving on i'm gonna throw on a little bit of blush this is such a youthful look it's so fresca it's amazing but recently i like to take a smaller brush and kind of just focus it on the areas that i really want it i'm just gonna be focusing it right here to make it look like the sun hit my face and one thing i learned is it's okay to go overboard with your blush like it may look overwhelming at first but it's the first thing to go it's a top layer of your makeup so it does fade really fast and then we're gonna set that one more time and we're gonna just let that semi dry on our face and then we're gonna add some highlighter. I'm grabbing this Glossier Future Dew. This is an oil serum. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on my fingers like so. Rub it together, really warm it up a little bit. And then just place that right over top. And make sure to avoid the area where you concealed your pimple. Use the rest to sleek back your baby hairs. <laughs> just kidding, but not. And I'm gonna grab the smallest amount of this Revlon highlighter. Take a little bit on my brush and just add it to my nose, right in between my eyebrows. And I'm ever so slightly patting it just on the high points of my face. I'm gonna throw a little bit of face freckles on, just focusing it right here. And I'm gonna take a brown eyeshadow in this 7B brush. And I'm just using the point to dab that all over wherever you want it. Like this is up for preference. Some of them I like to look a little bit darker and then the rest are gonna be a little bit less prominent. And then I'm gonna just lightly take my beauty blender and press down on them just to make them a little bit less dark. I'm gonna grab a really natural lip liner, surprise, surprise. This one is by Makeup Forever in the shade Whatever Walnut. And then over top, I'm gonna take this really sheer, nice lipstick by Clinique. It's in the shade Eyelid. I just officially decided we're not gonna put on eyelashes today. I'm just gonna take that same light brown shade that I used on my nose and just kind of lift the eye a little bit. All right guys, this is the finished look. It's non-cakey, it's so fresh and perfect for spring and summer. If you guys decide to try this out, girl, you know the drill, DM me. My Instagram is at Sigoni Lazaroff. In the meantime, I'll definitely keep you guys updated with my whole apartment search. Wish me luck. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.